Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. If you've ever done a Google search for some kind of product, you've probably seen Google shopping ads at the top where they have an image of the product, uh, the seller name, and then usually a price. If you're selling your own products on your website, you're probably wondering how you can get your products listed there too. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. The first step is gonna be signing up for Google Merchant Center. So let's go over to the screen and I'll show you how to do that. So these product listings that are shown at the top of Google are ads, so people are paying for these. So you will need a Google Ads account in order to show these ads. And you'll also need an account with Google Merchant Center. You can find this by Googling Google Merchant Center or go directly to google.com slash retail. You should find it one of those ways. I'm going to go ahead and sign in to my current account just to kind of show you real quick what that looks like. I do have a few different accounts running through here, um, but basically what you're gonna do is create a feed which uh, has all of your products in it. So if I click on one of these feeds for this specific client, uh, you'll get a rough idea of what it looks like. Actually, I would have to click on products or all products. And the feed is basically a, a database, uh, it's kind of a spreadsheet of all your product data with images. IDs, prices, and a bunch of different data that then gets fed to Google Ads. So you'll need to go through the steps of adding a feed. There's different ways to do this. Uh, if I click Add New, and then select a language, hit Continue, you can see you could have a Google Sheet document, which is just a spreadsheet that has all your product data. You could schedule a fetch. Um, it's probably the most common method uh, where you host a file on your website and you could use a plugin to do this, uh, which I'll show you real quick in a second. And then it'll just fetch the data, you know, once a day. You can also upload the data. And then there's some other options too, but you'll want to read up on these options. But scheduled fetch is probably going to work with most for most people who are using WordPress or WooCommerce or something like that. So I've obviously already um, set up a feed in this account. You see I have 184 products. I can also go to diagnostics to see if I have any issues with products and correct those. Right now it looks like all of them are approved except for one and it has to do with an image problem it looks like. So for the setup of Google Shopping that's all you'll need to do in Google Merchant Center. You might monitor this from time to time. Once this is set up and your products are active you'll then need to go to your Google Ads account and make sure that your um, Google Merchant Center account is linked to your Google Ads account. And for that, we go to Tools and Settings, click on Linked Accounts. This one's already linked, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how you do it. So in here, you got to find Google Merchant Center, click Details, and then here you'll link your two accounts. Uh, I think they'll just need to both have the same admin email address, and it should show up here, and you can easily link them. Once your Google Merchant Center account is linked to, to Google Ads and it has active products, you can then create shopping campaigns. So to do that, I would go to the Campaigns tab, click the blue button for New Campaign. In this case, I'd probably just click on Create a Campaign without a goal. And then I'm going to select Shopping. And you see it's linking my Merchant Center account. Uh, you can do smart shopping campaigns where they kind of take control. I like to have the control, so I'll, I would do a standard shopping campaign. But if you're new to advertising, you, you could try a smart shopping campaign. I'm going to cancel this. I just want to show you how you do that. And I will just uh, show you a couple shopping campaigns. So now I have the shopping campaign category. I have two active shopping campaigns. They look similar to your typical Google Ads campaigns, but there are some differences. Um, it's using products instead of keyword targeting. So you won't have keywords like you would in a normal search campaign. You will have negative keywords that you can exclude, but you won't have positive keywords that you're targeting. Google's going to use the info from your products to target um, searches. So they're going to look through all the data on this one product. So they'll basically look through all the data on a single product, including the title, uh, the description, and maybe some other items within this um, data to kind of match this product to searches. So it's pretty, it's pretty rough, the targeting. So an important aspect of Google Shopping is to monitor your search terms by going into keywords, search terms. This is going to show you all the search terms that are generating 
uh, impressions and clicks on your products. So for example, I excluded rolling mill on this one because it just wasn't it wasn't appropriate, wasn't relevant for these products. So that's a big part of managing your shopping campaigns. You can also divide ad groups and campaigns by you know your product categories. So for example, these two campaigns each have an ad group and then I'm able to go into the products and filter them out and only show certain products within certain ad groups. I'm not gonna get into all the details of this, but just wanna quickly point out that you can divide your products by category, title, and price, and all different things to um, show have different budgets and different bids for different products. So that's my quick overview of how to get started showing shopping ads in Google. If that's something that you wanna do for your website and business, but you're not really ready to tackle it on your own, or maybe you're already running campaigns and you just want to make sure they're optimized, you need someone like me to keep an eye on them and manage it for you, uh, make sure to check out my link below for my PPC management service. I do have a number of clients, like I mentioned, where I'm managing Google ads and uh, I am taking on um, new clients right now, but I might not be forever. So make sure to get in touch. Check out some of my other Google Ads videos. I'll link to one here and we'll see you on the next video.